Alright guys, here we're gonna talk about the movie Dance of the Dead. Two thousand eight's Dance of the Deadly. Had you seen it before? I think I have, but I'd like forgotten all about it. Which I'm debating if that means it's like not that good. I don't know. Mm. This was one that I know like our friend group saw like when yeah, it first came out. Like I I, at the very least you would have been there yeah. during conversation about it. I actually really like this one. Yeah. I, I feel like it has uh, like those vibes like of like the very low budget but but like very no, no. Uh, approachable movies. Yeah. Um, like there are things that are definitely missed, but I think it hits more often than not. It's There's low, the characters yeah. I generally actually think are good. Yeah. No, it, it's low budget, right? Yeah. So it's definitely like I would describe this as like super charming. Exactly. I didn't I'm still thinking it's like a B plus for me or whatever. It B plus is still huge. Does, I'll is, take that. No, 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 it is huge, but I feel like, you know, there's parts that I want to love that I just mm -hmm. feel like don't quite, and it feels a little, like, small and, like, a little whatever, but there's still a few moments that I, you know, that I want to call out at, at, as, yeah. like, oh, this is unique and interesting. This is a really good take on this. But, like, as a whole thing, when I think mm -hmm. about, like, how long it took us to get from point A to point B, I'm kind of like, okay, okay, like, what are we doing? Looking Fine. past the handful of moments that I think yeah. definitely do shine a light on, like, what the budget of this movie was, okay, okay. I think the characters themselves shine so heavily that yeah. I think it's something that I would definitely recommend no, checking out. Comedy is super hard and mm -hmm. this feels like a weird time capsule for a certain type of like teen like movie yeah. vibe where I'm like okay this is too charming for me to be like thumbs down like no. It's definitely punching yeah. above its pay grade like yeah, here like time. where I'm like okay they're taking a, a, a shot making a movie that yeah. is definitely uh, advanced. Zombie movies in general if you're going to actually show a number of zombies yeah. always a thing here. Yeah yeah. It never really like falls apart for mm -hmm. me or whatever it just doesn't quite get as high up it's kind of struggling for me to get to yeah. altitude or whatever but again and like still worth watching, still recommend. I Definitely. Think. Yeah. So if you've seen it or don't care, falls over to spoilers, and if not, pull out now. If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're cannibal video and we eat the competition. Alright guys, here we are for the spoilers of Dance of the Dead. Lee, let me hear those spoiler-filled thoughts. Yeah, like I said, I didn't, uh, I was like, have I seen this? Or am I just thinking of the uh, Fall Out Boy song video? Because I was mm. like, dance, dance. And I'm like, that's what you're thinking of. Oh, the what are you looking at, Pirate Puff? Yeah, no, I'm thinking of, and I'm like, did that movie have, like, did that music video have Dead in the dancing? And I'm like, they didn't, but they had Dead in, in some other videos. So it's probably just a Fallout Boy thing in my brain, like mislabeled as like the the plot of Dance of the Dead, right? Mm. But then during the movie, the, you know, a part happened where I'm like, ah, oh, I think I have seen this. Never got the time. Wait a minute. Which, which then I was like, oh, the fact that you don't remember anything at all, it's been like an hour is like a bad, it's like a strike against the movie almost. Or mm. Oh, hell. But I'm not gonna let that overrule any of my other opinions. How do you feel about Dance of the Dead? I, I, like I said over there, I really like the characters. There's, yeah. there's a couple of moments where I feel the characters act against their own uh, yeah. better judgment, or they, they they kind of fall between the lines here of well, well, how small, their dialogue. How small is the movie? How should we be judging this? It's pretty small. Do you know the budget or anything? I or? don't. But it's like... I you know. did no research at all, actually. Oh, well, I'm, I don't mean to call you out. Nah, I, I feel seen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I don't know if, like, it, it doesn't feel like 20K. It feels like. No, I, I bet whatever, this is probably like. Three million or something? I, I was going to say one, two million. One, two million? Is yeah, back, well, back then. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Definitely. I, I could go 1.3 million in uh, 2008 or yeah. $9, dollars so seven dollars whatever. Yeah. But, like, it had a lot going for it. So, like, characters that I liked, um, like yeah. the redneck guy, I thought, like, really grew on me. What are you doing here? Bashing heads, turn shit up, you know, usual. And I thought they uh, killed him off way early. And he's from The Signal. I was looking at his face. Yeah. Like, Who the fuck are you? You're somebody. Yep. He's so different in The Signal. Rip each other's clothes off and fuck our way to freedom. We we'll go to the country and start a life. So mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this, is the, this guy is great. Let me check his eyes. Stop the, like, stopped acting or something. Yeah. He barely does anything. Great. Perfect. No, I, I liked his just redneck, how he said yeah, things. Like, it, it was a fun lines. Uh, no, but no, yeah, you like, lost him very early that on. That character is, you know, like, like, you know, his death is kind of spectacular. We yeah. get both halves of him tearfully dying and then, like, like, like you know, violently attacking yeah. them. I'm sorry, I was a dick. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <He> deserves it. <laughs> but that character really played. 
a lot of stuff seems cliche that, that I'm going to say or, or, or that you're going to see if you've watched this, but like, the, I, I think it worked to have him be the badass bully who's overcompensating and mm-hmm. toying with like, do I participate with these people or do I tell them to fuck off and call them a name and like, what do I do here yeah. to interact with them? It was a nice, because you get these nerds, right, thrown together with this like delinquent and they're, and they're trying to like yeah. uh, survive together. Right? I started bleeding and everybody started laughing and I started to cry. Remember that? No. That's and then nice later, slow. some cool kids. Like. Yes, there's a, well, there's, a, there's layers. They got the coach yeah. in there. There's a whole fucking... Done. Them some bitches ate my dog. They ate my dog. Yes. The thing that. I think I liked about him was was that interaction he had with the nerds, where it was like, you yeah. know, they're kind of saying like, how like you've like ruined our lives, you broke my arm, you fucked my life, it doesn't like, but like then their realization of there's like no one I'd rather be here though yeah. because I hate to admit it, but I'm actually glad you're here. You're the biggest badass I know. Hoorah! I feel like you can fucking kill it's these people. It's one of those, like, life's complicated yeah. sort of things. Yeah. Because it would be very easy, not to get too up my own ass, if, to have this be like, oh, yeah, we're the outcasts. We're the, mm-hmm. like, wise guys. Like, like the class clown, but not in a good way. The sci-fi club, all the weirdos. Yeah. And that's who, everyone else is a mindless zombie. You know, hey, do you remember all the zombies in the mall? All the zombies are at the prom. This is going to be awesome. I'm so glad we're not going to prom. Hey guys, you ready? Yeah. Let's lock and load. You know, you know, like like the reference we're making here, but yeah. not us. We're doing our own thing on prom night, which is actually fucking saving the world because we're the because we're the cool best people. But no, they get the fucking stupid coach in there. They get this asshole in there. They get all these random people yeah. together. So so it's not. And like the other girl is like, I I planned the whole prom. Like she's not like oh like it, you know it, it's our nerdy friend girl. And no, she, yeah. And there's no scene where she's like, I love Star Wars too, or some weird thing to be like the nerds will save the earth. It, it's not well, indulgent. They- in that touch way. on that a little bit with the okay. prom queen, which yes. I feel is a misstep. Okay. Do you believe in UFOs? <laughs> yeah. I saw one once. Me too. Wow. This is. But I will okay. allow it. Sure. But yes, I, I agree with that. The thing <laughs> I think is the an issue is that like there is this overarching plot where it's like we should save the earth and stop the prom and make sure these zombies don't spread. That's where all they are and this and that. Yeah. And I think that if it was just a movie about surviving the night, uh, yes. it would be stronger. Uh, I, no, I, I, think, I I do like, like it in the name itself, Dance of the Dead. You, you do know that there's something has to happen in prom night, but yes. I think they could have changed how they got to the prom and where things happened. Like our boy yeah. could have been delivering pizzas like he was and got to the prom late. No can do, boss. I'm going to prom. It's my car. You drive it shit ball. You do what I tell you. The prom could have already been a thing, and his reason has to go to the prom now is like, I gotta save yeah, Vicky yeah. or the fuck her name is. So like, what you're saying about like, like the ending, you know, the like, like the coach is like, let's go to Waffle House and plan our next move or yeah. some shit, and you're like, your next move, like you made it, the movie's over, you survived. We'll all have breakfast and juice on, coach. Then we'll discuss stage two of this up. It's time for the movie nat- two is it's, taking out yes. the, the fucking next boss. Yeah, to go to like fight like Nemesis with the rocket launcher. Yeah. It's like no, 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 you made it, you survived. Now it's now you, now you let the National Guard and like NATO troops fucking kill all the zombies if yeah. there even are all the zombies because it's just a nuclear graveyard, which is again is great. Don't, don't explain as little as possible. I know it's kind of strange, but it's the best view in town. Um, but yes, they don't go to the prom. That's uh, that's really what you're getting at. Is like yeah. they get sidetracked and and like end up going to the prom to like kill all the zombies yeah. there. But they don't go to the prom and then oh they're making out in the corner. But really he's eating her. Like like you you don't get that weird. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> You don't get that weird, like, um, you know, like mistaking things for other things thing. All the main characters are not at the prom un- yeah. until the prom has been fully lost. Mm-hmm. You, like, like, there's never any story there. They just go there to try to, like, blow it up and destroy yeah, it. Yeah, right? you could have swung a lot of these plot points just to into that. Like, yes. yeah, like, the zombies could have all been the prom. Our same band that didn't yes. get the job could have got the job. I said a Somebody's ready to get the head the to the their music is holding the zombies at bay yes. all around the outside. They could have been because the the zombie musicians are playing or trying to play or whatever, right? And that could have been a thing. 
Like, oh, where are they? Oh, they're probably in the back, like, getting high. It's like, oh, they got too high. They're ruining the prom. That's it, Jeff. This is our chance. Let, you know, let, you know, let's go take over and, and, like, rock this place. But they don't know what's going yeah. on, right? They just say, oh, they love it. But they're all zombies enthralled yeah. by it. Just have a whole Yeah, because the thing. lights in their eyes, yeah, they, 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 they can't only see, see it. And hear, oh, oh, the, oh, oh, the crowd's really going. Yeah, yeah. great. And they just have it all more of a joke. But no, instead of that, because they know they want that, but they can't do it or they don't mm -hmm. know to do it. So, you know, so we get them just like, oh, you played for five hours in your garage or something? Yeah. That was like five hours ago. You guys have been playing for five hours straight? Yeah. Hey, we needed to practice. That's amazing. And practice. The one guy's like, oh, they dig our sound. And I'm like, it is fairly clear at this point that they are like overtaken by something. Why are they attacking you? They dig our sound, man. What? Well, we were just in the garage jamming out. And the noise is like, oh, music soothes the savage beast. Yeah. They do not dig your sound. A monkey could be playing with the guitar. Well, because they right? also stopped just at the vroom, just at the noise. Like, yes. yeah, it, it was no... just the. Tone, it has nothing maybe. to do with, with with your lyrics, obviously. Don't diminish the man's spirit. But that's not even played like, oh, you're a fuck. Okay. He's like poor man, Skeet Ulrich. He like, is. It's amazing. Like, I looked him up. Pretty good. Thanks, babe. But. We got our weapons. While we're talking about the band, though, to close out my my you know my bit about the band, missed opportunity. The bass player gets killed by zombies. It's it, you know it, it, you know it's a great scene. You needed the, the you know the other band members have someone be like, oh my god, like like you guys like it's only the bass player. They should have done and that. They Listen, honestly I, set that up because yes. he was fucking up all the songs. It's so like, perfect. I was so pissed. Kept me up at she night. She flew my kite. <laughs> Dude, chill out, man. Seriously, stay in the circle. Yeah. Okay. Like it. I like it. She made me feel all right. As a bass player, that's that's always the joke. Yeah. The bass player, the most crucial part of the band, the, the liaison between rhythm and melody. Everyone's like, "Fuck that guy. He's just a bass player." Un uh, unless it's Flea, in which case everyone sucks his dick all day. But the point is, that's the joke you make there. Yeah. That's the joke. And they didn't do it. I'm very pissed off. No, they really just let that drop. <laughs> Malpractice. I'll tell you what. Go ahead and skip that prom. Come over and watch us play. Afterwards, you can give me a head. <laughs> He's not even a good guy. It's so funny. Yeah. It's so dumb. Thank you, coach to high school. Good night! Come on, come on, come on. I think it's, like, almost a shame they didn't put more on that, like, custodian groundskeeper guy. Because, like, yeah. he knew what was going on the whole time, and he seemingly been preventing crisis this whole time. But something had to have changed that made it so he lost control of yeah, the situation. Yeah. It has the... Uh... And he's capable. I said... <laughs> Stay on the path. What? You, you knew about this? No, they're like, like, you know, the bookends are this put upon, mm -hmm. uh, you know, groundskeeper, grave digger guy who basically has the role like, like you see this hand moving on its own and he like lops it off and then, and then you think, oh, this is the kickoff of like, what's that? But he just goes, ugh, like not this yeah. shit again and throws it into his wheelbarrow. There's like more limbs there. He's constantly doing this. Pans up, nuclear graveyard, holy fucking shit. And he's the bookend at the end where he's also pissed off. Like I have to clean up this yeah. mess now too or whatever. But yes, there's no indication. Like you needed the boys uh, almost like uh, Hocus Pocus focus you need you needed the kids there to be what accidentally spurs on the thing yeah right like maybe okay okay i'm writing it now he, like the sprinkler system at the fucking thing he's putting some special goop in it or whatever and that's what puts them down and that's what keeps them down or whatever it's some fucking solution but then he has to chase the kids out a fucking thing break you know falls over breaks dumps you know some other chemical in there and all of a sudden they're, you know they're like a lot of something yeah. there has to be some way that like they feel like we caused this mess we got to yeah, or it startles up. them they speed off and their car hit the like you know the thing the, the water leaks something. out he has no yeah, pressure he can't do his thing yeah yeah or just he's not there for some reason or he whatever because of them so they feel guilty and it's like the reason why the story is woven together like it is but no yeah. he's just a fucking guy and that's funny in a way where he's like Ugh, I but i almost needed more you needed like, a thing yeah, like yeah. i either wanted it to go so hard where it's like like yeah. like did you, okay Suppressed, or <laughs> like, like, like where he talks yeah. to like home base, or he's just no, no, like no. you know or, tasked with this, or, or like flip it where it's like feast, where he's the badass and he's mm. like, I've been doing this for twenty years. Let me tell you, whatever, <laughs> and he just gets killed uh -huh. instantly, and the kids are like, no. <laughs> And they run away or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, okay, because when they go to the house, we can we can seamlessly segue into that because uh, they they take refuge in this in house, the mortuary, which is the mortuary, which is logical because they started running from the mausoleum and yeah. tried to find a place to stay. Guys.
We're in a funeral home. So they ran in like the wrong direction and now they're in this mortuary house where there's coffins and you know bodies and everything. That dude should have been there or there should have been like a like a secret room like where his he's, office he's experimenting yeah. on the zombies or it's like his fault or like, like well, he gets look some for weapons reveal. and they open one cabinet yeah. and it's all weapons. It's like, yeah, yeah. Or he's like, yeah, exactly. This badass yeah. sort of thing or whatever. The, yeah. the issue with that is the trope of like, oh yeah, sewers all have doors that lead into buildings. <laughs> Come on, this way. Oh my God, it stinks. Whoa. I the hate catacombs, that. my That's friend. That's in yeah. so many things. And I'm like, is that anywhere? Is that ever a thing? And if it is, like, do you think they just open? Like they're not locked from, it's not like a, a partition party door at a hotel where there's a lock on both sides. <laughs> and what do they say? Like, oh, this was the old Underground Railroad. There's some, there's always some line where they go like, wait, yeah. what? That's not literal. What are you doing? I used to play down here when I was a little kid. Here's one messed up little kid, huh? Yeah. Me too. Hurry! Yeah, it's amazing. So dumb. <laughs> these tunnels are all over the old city, the catacombs yeah. in France. And so, yes. <laughs> you have to play in these as a kid. That's a, that's a, I like when they do a movie trope like that, though, where you're like, this is way too big and, and way too well lit and it's green or something. It's like, what's happening? It's yeah. like, well, yeah, it's, it's stripping it, its toxic waste. It's like a funny, though. Miles vibe. away from that thing. Ugh. Which you would think then, oh, we're going we're gonna to fight a big zombie alligator or something. <laughs> and they don't. Kill them all. So like we meet our our like main boy and like he's the slacker at school. He's That's like the know, kind of a shithead. I was looking for a word of like who's the guy that plays the koof the koosh ball thing. Yeah, he's not exactly yeah. cool enough to slide by and get the girl. Yeah. He's not exactly funny enough to be like the popular kid. He's just kind of a kid because he drives we, the pizza mobile. Like he sucks. No, we called them like burners. I think at my yeah. school, but they weren't all. He's not on drugs in this. He's not the drug kid. I don't so believe so. They, they don't make it into a big deal. At no, least. but his yeah. teacher like calls him out, like, like yeah. you fucking shriveled dick bitch. You're never yeah. gonna get anywhere in life. And like how he like stabs his frog, and he's like, like shut up, you idiot, or whatever he fucking yeah. says. And so do I, Froggy. Jimmy, quit acting like an idiot and dissect your frog. No, and the, and like they set that teacher up to be like the final boss later. Yeah, in kinda. Movie. So like the final fight is in this poorly lit classroom against this like pudgy teacher zombie. Yeah. It's like very underwhelming, I thought. Damn it. Um, but yeah, the setup feels like, okay, we're going in a certain direction. Even his girlfriend is like, you don't take life seriously enough. And everything's a joke to you. It's just not funny anymore. And I'm like, oh, it's so she real. She drops him so, so realistic quick and yeah. so hard oh, yeah. for another dude, like, who, like, you know, has money and smells like vanilla. You want to smell like pepperonis or vanilla bean air freshener? I like that 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 that, that, that dude sucks and is like an entitled date rapist and shit. Yeah, though. that's like cool. Listen, it's okay. No, Mitt, really. It's, it's okay. No, Mitt. That, that's that's like, one of my, like, yeah. another trope I love. Like, like someone is, like, obviously pushing someone beyond their limits. Yeah. Like, rape is about to happen. And they go, like, like, shut up or relax or whatever they say. Or, like, it's fine. It's fine, I think is what they it's say. Fi yeah. It's fine. Who determines it's fine? No, it's not fine. It's not fine at all. No, and, like, you can hear, like, that's always what's so great to depict is how bad they are at it. Because uh -huh. you must, like, like not being plugged into that, you must imagine someone, oh, he's, he's a manipulative genius. He's so good. Just know that like, these girls are like too afraid to like speak up or like yeah. physically push him and like say stop or whatever. Yeah. But this girl is, is cool. So she gets to be, and, and, and the zombies help. It's, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> whatever. That dude gets but yanked so hard out of the does. car. Like, Absolutely. Like, interestingly, like, like, boom. Stop. Shut up. Stop. <laughs> Conveniently, like, one might say. Like, must be on like a cable. <laughs> okay. I thought you meant like this is not the type of monster that like absconds with its prey. So why no. is it doing it there? Just well, for the convenience. Yes, so, yeah, exactly. exactly. Right, right, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Smell that? Vanilla bean, baby. And then we get her like joining up with all of the nerds and stuff. We get a nice fucking thing, yeah. right? <laughs> And that's, it feels too in and out though, where it's like, they should have started the movie with them broken up and him like trying to win her back and her being like, and, and that guy being an obvious asshole and, and, the, and then her being like, we've talked about this, you need to take life more seriously. And he's like, how do I do that? And they're like in a rut already, yeah. as opposed to like- Or break it up in a, in yeah. a way that's more convenient for the plot. Like, I was like, it's like oh, did you, did you yeah. rent the, the, the limo? 
Oh, I forgot. That was the last day to register. Now we don't have a ride to the exactly. prom. What the fuck is wrong with you? We're all I'm counting done with on this you. shit. And right. then the other guy would be like, you know, I have a car. And she'd be like, and she doesn't want to go with him, Pl but she'll go with him because she wants yeah. to go to prom. Plenty I set this up. I have to go. This is the most important night of my life or yeah. whatever. Yeah, exactly. Where like, she, you know, he had to fuck stuff. Or yeah, because she's doing all the planning. Yeah. She could have outsourced some stuff to him. Hey, hey, you were supposed to bring all the things to... You know, to the place in the pizza wagon, and he's like, "Ah, oh, you know, I was," a, and it's yeah, exactly. You spelled Hawaiian wrong. You yeah. fucking asshole. Something. Put something on. Him. Because that could be the thing is like he's trying to like be more involved, but fucking it up because he doesn't yeah. take it seriously enough. Not just like I don't give a fuck about that, and you, and you've known this forever, and now yeah. all of a sudden you're like, well, you know what? Going to prom with you, my boyfriend of however long, is pointless. That, I'm going yeah. With yeah, no, no, no. Very strange. Something, something missing, something off there. Yes. Why him? Because he took life seriously and I thought he liked me. Things are definitely filmed out of order or, or, or edited out of order of when oh. they should happen because he gets headbutted. You can't even hear me. Yo. Oh. And then he has a, uh, a scene and then the next scene he's putting ice on his face. I'd like a corsage instead of a dead frog. Wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> You called yourself a woman. And I'm like, mm. I think that was supposed to be there, and you just Adrenaline. slid this in, something. No, like um, like, like the middle, uh, you know, I think that in th there's a beginning setup that's really strong, then there's a really strong extended finale area, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of like a faltering of like, where are the kids, where are they going, what are they doing, why are they here, where are they to get, what's happening? It, it feels a little weird, there's a lot of like running, and like, we're like by the side of the road, like watching, oh, there they are, we gotta go this way, like all this mm -hmm. weird planning, which I was like, this is like Goonies-ish, this is not like, this doesn't work. Go, go to the prom. <laughs> yeah. The running made me laugh. They're like, okay, we need someone who can run, someone who's fast to go to the car. And like, one of these characters is in running gear. And we met her running because she runs. Stupid spinach. And she's a cheerleader and runs. And look, she's running. <laughs> like, and, and yeah. it's not immediately like, she should do it. Well, and also this whole thing of like, unlike every other human, she can run. Which like, for me, makes perfect sense because I'm one of those nerds. But normal people think that everyone can run. So mm -hmm. like, in your movie, you kind of have to do a thing where you show these guys like, <laughs> with his like inhaler, he's like such a nerd that he can't do anything, right? Yeah. Come on guys, if you can run fast, just say so. Um, I can move pretty fast. Yeah, yeah, send the cheerleader. That should have been like a little more clear. Cause they are, they're like weird fake McLovin guy and other Jonah Hill, like grandma's boy. Yeah. They have a weird, yeah. they're like the fakest, but like the third. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny, dude. I didn't really think of it like that. I should keep it, man. It works kind of both ways. You know, it's funny, but it's- Guys. Like, like, like not the poor man's version, the version like below that, where it's like- Yeah, the B-rated yeah. poor man version. Yeah, like you're like the, you're like the drummer in those Geico commercials where they have the weird cringy band. <laughs> Why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hacker stole my identity. They're like, we're pirates now. It's like that. It's like, what the fuck are we looking at? But I miss those guys. They served their purpose in the narrative and it yeah. actually didn't hurt that much. They are fine, I think. They're the guy all... with the helmet for me is the, is, the, is the poor man version of the guy who works the arcade in Stranger Things. Yes, fill it, Keith. You want information and I need something in return. Okay, yeah, no, they're all these fucking, like, whatever. They're just filling this role, like, perfectly. Where, like, they don't even give them that much characterization, but then when they finally do talk, I'm like, oh, you're exactly the character you look like you yeah. are, fine, whatever. Please? Sorry, it's the last one, stop. Dude, come on, you're taller than me, Jules. Please? No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love and hate the coach. Yeah, because uh, he's the one who's really like, come on, kids, now, now we're getting man, serious. Henry Rollins. Oh, so you do think I'm an idiot then? Answer me, boy! Yeah! Oh, I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> ah! He's got a moment, though, where he's, like, like chewing out our, our main yeah. character. You may not believe this, Dunn, but I'm trying to help you. You do want to do something with your life, don't you? Yes, you do. And, like, Sneak pulls up a bullhorn, and I was like, that's everything. <laughs> it's everything I need. What are you looking at? Drop and give me 50 and count them off! <laughs> you got it, coach. <laughs> yeah. 
No, and I and 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 I like this the way that it plays out. There's also like a fucking gigantic. I think it's a Confederate flag, but there's yeah. also like some other like weird flag where I'm like, oh god, he's like a weird neo-Nazi guy or some shit. It was a different time. Yeah. No, 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 it was, it was. But that's what I'm saying. It's like looking at it now, it like reads as like you like you expect to pan over and see like worse shit where you're like, oh yeah. god, oh god, like a helmet with a spike. Or like a... yeah, no, yeah, I I I I just like history where it's like weird like Punisher blue line. No, shit but at or that something. moment having yes. a Confederate flag just meant like. You're a prepper. You're meant, a blah blah. And, you live uh, in the south. Like. And he always had this dream of like taking charge and and like you know exterminating the opposition. And now he gets to do it like guilt free. Yeah. And and he's enjoying it, but not gratuitously. You're gonna have to board up the entrances right here, here, and here. All right. We got one shot at this. He keeps coming back to the kids to be like, okay, guys, we're doing this. Hey, you know, it, you know, it's all up to you now. Like he just kind of like puts him. He's yeah. just like, I'm the commanding officer. It though, is that's funny it. how he like yeah. pretty much death sentenced our nerdy main character. <laughs> okay, I've dropped the detonator in the chips. I'm gonna need you to take care of that yep. while I go set some more of this Suicide C4. Suicide mission. Boy. Got it off Craigslist. I got set and we got no time. It's a one-way ticket, son, but you gotta buy it. Over. The best use of money for no reason is that in the graveyard when the, our, all our kids are running and all the, the, the zombies oh, are coming my favorite up, part of the there's a springboard in every grave and the zombies are <laughs> shooting out of them and most of them into a running sprint. That where you're like, what athleticism? <laughs> This, this happens early, like you're saying. This is part of what why I'm, like, charmed as fuck from this mm -hmm. film. Because, like, that is some shit out of, like, a Chevy Chase, John Candy comedy or something. They just, like, like it, right into the sprint, something about that was so yeah. goofy and so above, the, like, the level the rest of this movie punches at. I was yeah. like, this is a perfect moment for this film. Those are the things um, they use in, like, Commando, where it's, like, yes. it's like a plank of wood and an airbag, and it just shoots you, like, into Whoa. the air. Yeah. It is, uh, his like legs are like uh, like helicoptering in you know bicycling like in midair. Oh yeah, to like get into the thing is great. It was, it was great. Ten out of ten. Sink those watches, people! Come on, move, move, move! So like on that note of like practically effect and things that are enjoyable, yeah. there's a moment there where like they're just having a street fight. <laughs> Uh, it's it's our boy, main character, yeah. and our redneck, and it's a fight almost out of like Bagman. Like Like, the way they are, like, just taking these dudes out, like, okay. there's a lot of, like, oh, I'm splitting you and hitting you this, and, like, my favorite trope ever, where he, like, knocks over a trash can, he's like, oh, good, a bat was in there. <laughs> Things like that, which always make me mad, but... Listen, I people like throw it. bats away sometimes. <sighs> it wasn't even bagged. Why would you bag a bat? You get a ticket. For, ba for throwing out throwing a bat? Throwing out garbage out of bag. That's bullshit. That's, yeah. Not in that town. Was. In that town, they don't give anybody a ticket for anything. The only thing I looked up was that. Was this yeah. real town. <laughs> it's set in a fictional version of the real town, though. No. It's at the end. This is real. It, All things it, based it on It literally reality. spells out in, yeah. in excruciating detail. I didn't watch the whole credits. There's a lot of credits. Mm, fool. <laughs> so everything gets rolling, right? The shit hits the fan. We're at the prom. Yeah. The dance of the titular dance of the dead. And yeah, he drops the detonator, the coach from like the vents. They're in the, it, we, we get some- He's dieharding. Great, yeah, goofy vent, uh, you, you know, set up and everything. And then I was underwhelmed as well by the whole, what, like what they're doing with the lighting and how he's like crawling from place to place. and how they survive so long and it's awkward. The yeah. chick shows up, I'm helping, and it's like, I don't know if this is right. It's annoying in a lot this of things weird. the way they represent zombies. Like, yeah. either they're constantly searching for food or they're not, but it's this weird middle ground where I'm like, yeah, they're not acknowledging things that are happening, but they're also still kind of falling into habits. Like, the one guy's like spiking the punch with blood. Yeah. Like Like, oh, yeah. things are weird like that. The thing that annoys me, mm. I can get past get that. that. It's yeah. the dancing. Okay. It's them like, okay, uh, let's let's take this moment to have our prom dance. And, like, it's cheeky and fun, but I think oh. you could have done that in a, in a way that was a little bit more like, like um, <laughs> if they're surrounded and they kind of just embrace and they're spinning trying to find the detonator. Like, or, like it's not listen, really dancing. I, 
and and as I as I'm going to say this, viewers might be like, "That's what they did in the fucking movie, you asshole." Do you see it? No. Do you? No, but they, they didn't. totally okay. dance. No, no, no. But like, I like had they made it, like I don't fucking know some old movie that's you know was released during my lifetime. Some Catherine Zeta Jones and and like you know Antonio Banderas and like they're like they're dance fighting now. Where like yeah, yeah. it like is a dance where she's gonna fall and he grabs her, so it's like he's dipping her or yeah, something. Yeah. And like they like like weave. almost snapshots that yes. are dance moves yes. inside of what they're doing. Where you could freeze frame and be like, oh, I get it. They're at the dance and they're and they're avoiding zombies and trying to grab the detonator but they're like whatever maybe the, maybe a rose is involved <laughs> yeah yeah like and oh it, because he has to have the fucking corsage too we didn't do that there's no payoff there right there's so much you could do here that ultimately would have been at worst as cringy as just having mm -hmm. them dance but so much better potentially depending on how they pull it off the problem right? is is like, like in everything where it is zombies a mindless horde of things but yes. it's, it's constantly the attack at one 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 but, yeah. one but in they, the dance scene they're just in a, almost a circle around them giving them so much room to do their thing yes but that should have been be, because those zombies should have been mid dance it should have been like Super Mario Brothers where they like get them to like dance again <laughs> and like do a fucking thing like make it and like the movie is not quite that absurd but sometimes it is sometimes people sprint out of of their graves and start running, yeah. right? So like we could have if you, you could have risen something really goofy. Yes. It's like a thing where like he's sneaking around and like they push them together and zip tie a bunch of zombies like or together. Something, yeah. And they're just like, you know, uh, but it, uh, it looks uh, like they're dancing now. Or well no, have him work on the outskirts and then set up a diversion or like incapacitate some of them in some way. There's stuff you could do. It's like a school gym, there's bleachers, there's different yeah. stuff. You could have created They do the moment out yeah. right out of the faculty. Yeah. <laughs> and I like that. Uh -huh. It's it's not as good, but you know. Listen. As a kid, the behind the bleachers or like under the bleachers is this like magical place. Yeah. So like you need to have that there, right? But there's more. There's like a hoop probably up there somewhere. There's all sorts of shit you could have done. Didn't the movie do that? You hang something from the hoop and you lower it and the zombies are like, I want that thing. And then you go off and steal the punch with the detonator. Something like that. Print it. Okay, uh, everyone hold hands. Gay. We can't go without me mentioning this. Not bad for a couple of queers. Oh, God, it's Something we have to bring up is one of my favorite parts of this movie. Remember, I was like, oh, certain things happen. And I was like, oh, that's, a, that's such like a unique, interesting thing. Uh, I like kinky shit and smut and weird stuff that crosses certain lines and everything. We set up this gigantic, like, what does he mean? Oh, my God. I think I know what I you mean, actually. You do. Now you do. But it took so. that, that, that look that flashed across your face. I want to savor that for a moment. <laughs> we set up this whole thing, and and this might, well, I, I don't know what years matter for what. This this read like an American Beauty thing, almost. You want to see the most beautiful thing I've ever filmed? We have a nerdy, misunderstood, complicated kid who's filming everything. We get all these stock footage of like, you know, the cheerleader girl like doing a million backflips and he's creepy and he's like, so, uh, prom? And she's like, doesn't, you know, acknowledge his love for her at all. I'm gonna go ask him. Um, oh, right now? Wish you luck, okay? <laughs> yeah. Good luck. It's this long thing. They finally get to the end. She's been bitten. Oh, yeah. a curveball. Oh no, how's this gonna resolve now? Steven, please don't tell them, they'll kill me. <laughs> Maybe we find a cure? What happens? Oh, so like, that's not the main kid in this movie. They're like playing it a different way. They're putting it off to the side. You know, they're cooking something up, right? She bites him and he turns into a zombie, but they're yeah. stuck in, in, in the bathroom stall. Now they're both zombies and they're making out and there's blood in their mouths and, and they're, eating each other. they're eating each other and it's so smutty and awesome. I felt Listen, bad for this kid. No, he got exactly what he wanted. He did. You know what I mean? But it's, it's such a shame. The poetry of because this. It's Shakespearean. It's, it's really the moral of the story yeah. is that you have to say things. You can't yes. just sit there and hope for shit to happen. You gotta do things, make things happen. He who hesitates he, is lost. He's with this girl and like he only really got to enjoy it for like literally a moment. Well, they're gonna enjoy it and forever then she now. Bites him. I guess he, you know, the, you know, they're blown up. His or last moment is her ripping his tongue out of his mouth. Though yes. that's a brutal last moment. Oh no! Oh, it's bittersweet. I, I, you know, I admit. But just that imagery, because it's not just making out with blood. Yeah, in no, no. Mouth. It's there's a like pull and like snap of flesh. Yeah, they're clearly consuming. There's like drooling while kissing. Like, yeah, they are like yeah. consuming one another in this really vivid and interesting way. Where like 
I like watching a movie and seeing something I haven't seen in every other fucking movie. Mm -hmm. And that was a really interesting, because it's a nice way to contain this unlikely love affair and, oh, we're going to bond over a crisis. Nope, she's bit, you're fucked, what are you doing? Why don't you leave? You can't bring yourself to leave. He's still hesitating. That's what gets him. Oh, it's like someone wrote the movie. But that's what's so so sad, (laughs) is that, like, this man is willing to die for this tiny amount of affection. So good. Like, Yes. It's not like he tried to get anything real fast to happen. I, He's just like, I'm happy holding you, I, and I'm dead. Just hold me, okay? <laughs> just hold me. Uh, uh, <laughs> love that. That yeah. is such a powerful, interesting fucking thing to do in a movie. Not yeah. as fucking I like, they oh, pulled it off whatever. nicely, too. It was great. They play yeah. certain music, and they're feeding on each other, and I was like, that's what I want. So, like, when I saw that, it's like it's like in the last 20 minutes of the movie, or 15, 10 minutes, whatever, mm-hmm. I was like, I remember this, I think. Yeah. I saw this movie before. And then I'm like, I don't know if I did, if I actually watched it, whatever. I don't know. Another part similar that I felt bad was like mm. when they first get into like that crypt, and it's like, you shouldn't be here. It's obvious you shouldn't be here. Oh, Why yes. are you here? And like the one guy's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going in there. Fuck that. Yeah. And then he dies. Open it. I'm not even coming in there, man. You open it. He's the and guy I'm like, who dies. yep, that's who gets it. The guy exactly. who is playing it safe. He's doing everything he should. He's, he's not, you know, yes. invading the space of a corpse and no, being and, a freak. And the movie, uh, and that's a great jump scare, too, when it like goes, yeah. buddy, buddy, buddy. Ah! And there's a guy right there or whatever. It's empty. But, like, that's a great moment, too, to be like, normally, uh, that's the reasonable kid who goes, I mm-hmm. don't know, man, come on. And that's your hero later. Or or that's your hero's sidekick who's smart and, yeah. like, figures out a problem he's or plucky. something later. Yeah, he's like, oh, man, whatever. Because he, cause he's mature enough to sense the danger or even just, like, something's not right about this. Want to see a dead body? No, he says. And then it all goes to fuck, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, no, they just gank that kid immediately yeah. as a part of this weird, or not early 2000s, I guess early, you know, early 2000s, thing of, like, oh, 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 the slacker's, you know, the one, right? To shift it over to him. I'd like to go out fighting. If we don't stop those things from getting to the prom, then our world is over. There's another great shift where, like, they're in the area where you would prepare the bodies, and, like, the guy looks up, and, like, the body is not where it was, and it's, like, in the fucking, like, rafters. You're like, what the fuck? (laughs) Yes. Yeah, which is a nice, like, they're not supernaturally fast, they can't crawl on the ceiling or whatever, but, like, things can happen while, you know, when you're not looking. Yeah. And that moment of, like, oh, shit, or whatever is, like, yes. <laughs> oh, shit, where'd they go? <laughs> yeah, they're seemingly assigned. God gives them pussy at the end. With a sci-fi club for being yeah. so such good like it's so weird when that kid it's goes so weird. here take this helmet I want to give you this it'll protect you just in case so you know what I should probably keep well, no this. I'm gonna keep this <laughs> you know what I shouldn't have <laughs> no, that I don't think that's scripted, and I think it's the okay. be, one of the best lines in the movie. That's why I mentioned like Super Bad and Grandma's mm-hmm. Boy and some of those contemporary yeah, comedies, yeah, yeah. whatever, because it has that. It's trying to do yeah. a version of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they didn't give that kid enough. He no. was very funny. Very under underutilized, mm-hmm. definitely. Oh, no thanks. I'm high on life. <gasps> So my last question is just about this in general. Huh. So we know that the zombies are coming from the fact that the, the nuclear plant is polluting like the sewer. It's, I guess, rising up through the floor of the graves. And, Swamp and, gas. And, and there we have our things. Roll of the but wisp. when they're at the high school, the teacher who we've established as a dick is just in his room and the frogs come back to life. Yeah. Now the frogs, I'm, I'm assuming they don't they don't source locally from the cemetery. Um, maybe they do, but it's weird because they're dead for how long and they come back. I don't know what the what the you know the shelf life of this poison yeah. is, but he then gets a frog that just goes into his mouth. He literally gets a frog in his throat <laughs> and becomes a zombie. Yeah. And I'm like, that's strange. And he's like a different type of zombie at that point. He seemed to be happening? a little wardier. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, clearly there's a there's a there's a there's a zombie plague now because they can spread it. I yeah. guess. I didn't I didn't interrogate anything too deeply. We didn't mention the frog scene though, which I thought was a cool. I thought that that was going to be the first 
thing. There was going to be more mm. like, oh, the school mascot is a whatever, and now the horse is a kid. But they don't have the money to do or really. do any of that. There was going to be part of a series of like unexpected uh, mm. ways for it to turn out. Like there'll be a fucking, you know how they 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 they, they dissect other things. There's the stomach. There's the liver. There's the pancreas. There's the brains. Look at it. Oh, there'll be like a goat's head in a jar that's like, ah, I'm alive yeah, a now. Fetal pig. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, pig is not goats. Yeah, exactly. Hooved animals. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that that was going to lead into something else. I mentioned before that, like, it's underwhelming. He's just got shit on his face and he goes, ah. And like and like attacks the kid. It's supposed to feel like well, that's the final boss. Yeah. It, it, in the beginning, that's well, the teacher who like dressed yeah, him down. Yeah, it's it's not so much in a play. power move that like he's bigger and better. It's yeah. it's like a full circle of like this guy said you'll never meet you know make yes. anything of yourself. Kill him. <laughs> right, exactly. Now you get your revenge. Kill him for and being a like, slacker. What? what? Yeah. Notice the brain, devoid of all intelligent thought, capable of only a C minus average, barely passing high school. Or how like he like that guy stinks up on a teacher who I'm like, how did you not know? Like, what's wrong with your face? What do you mean what's on your face? You're a fucking zombie. I hate people well, not noticing zombies. Listen, so like that's a that that what you're talking about in the hallway, right? Where the he's like sneaking a drink yeah. and the guy's like, oh whatever. Oh, God. Mr. Hammond, you scared the crap out of me. Yeah, so like that's that's a taste of what the movie we're saying like should have been of like just this prom where like that's part of the joke is that prom is full of a bunch of zombies already. So even yeah. e even as people get taken or get picked off on the sides or kids go out Frankie Panky and now this happens or like later other kids who you know who were doing something they they shouldn't have been doing will see that same teacher and go oh fuck he's back but now he's a zombie and like they don't yeah. know like you have to weave in this gigantic churning thing where you keep track of all the characters. But that was just meant to be like oh, us—a a taste nothing. of that. Yeah, nothing. I think nothing. I would have liked to have been like born like 20 years earlier and had the prom in the high school. I think that seems fun to me. Okay, so either you work with me, people, or you get the f out of here. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Not going to like a um, weird banquet hall bullshit thing. I don't think I've ever been to a prom hmm. <laughs> on purpose. No, I went to one. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was one of these nerdy sci-fi kids. But we didn't go to the graveyard instead. We, we, we went to Frank's house to play video games. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to CannibalVideo.com. Pick up some merch. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. Hey, no eating in store. Cannibal Video has everything you need A wide array of VHS and DVDs We ate the competition, now it's only us Our expert staff opinions, you can really trust Come and browse our eyes